Hey, John here, and I'm gonna be going over how to create a mindset of success for yourself. Now, I've been able to create a business that did $7 million last year with zero employees, and one of the most important things that I've learned comes from improv, and it's the concept of yes and, and I'll be explaining it in this video. Yes and, how the heck does that like actually help me do anything? I'll explain to you. So yes and is a concept from improv, improvisational comedy, meaning just kind of off the cuff. What this concept is, I speak about this in pertaining to a mentor. If you found yourself a mentor or a teacher or somebody you look up to that you trust and that gives you advice, utilizing this concept of yes and is gonna be the most important thing you ever do. And it will not only strengthen your relationship with your mentor, but it'll also help you be more successful in business. Now, how do you use this concept of yes and when you have a mentor and he gives you advice? The way you use it is, for instance, one of my mentors came to me and said, hey, I'm doing some TV ads. I think this would work great for you. Would you like to do one too? I said, yeah, sure. He said, yeah, the cost, you'll have to be willing to spend up to $250,000 to actually go through the whole process of getting on TV, the production, the editing, the media, the lawyers, the everything. And I said, okay, great, yes. And how else can I work with this? So I did yes and. Now, at the time when I was getting on TV, $250,000 on a test sounded crazy to me. Okay, my first instinct was thinking to myself, that sounds nuts. What if it doesn't work, right? That's $250,000 I just threw down the drain. $250,000, what if it doesn't work? And guess what the success rate is? I was given a 95% chance that I was gonna be throwing a quarter million dollars down the drain. Really bad investment strategy, right? But I went with it because once again, this is a person I know, I trust, and has helped me a lot in the past. In fact, this mentor of mine got me into affiliate marketing in the first place over 10 years ago. He got me into affiliate marketing. He told me to do this. And I was able to become very successful doing affiliate marketing. He said, do TV ads. Yes, and. Trust your mentor, right? This is part of trusting. The second part of this is go above and beyond. I give a lot of videos out there where I try to give advice to folks that are looking to start an online business. 99% of people actually don't do anything. I suspect a few people you know, try out whatever I'm doing and then they stop. But go above and beyond when you get advice from somebody you trust. And once again, find a mentor that you trust. It doesn't make any sense to get advice from somebody you don't fully trust. That's a really hard thing because this takes us to point number three, which is this is gonna be uncomfortable and that's perfectly normal. In fact, oftentimes the best advice, almost all the time I'd say, in my experience, the best advice has been uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. And that's because you're at your growth edge. If you're not where you wanna be in life and you're sticking within your comfort zone, that's the problem. Whatever you've been doing is not working or it's not getting you there fast. You need to get out of your comfort zone. That's why it's important to find a mentor you trust and it's gonna be uncomfortable sometimes, but that's important. Now, when my mentor approached me and said, you know, this is last year, quarter million dollars, it was very uncomfortable for me. It was extremely uncomfortable for me to put down a quarter million dollars on something that had 95% chance of failure. I was tearing out my hair. I was like, what am I getting myself into? Again, I went all the way with it. I put down a quarter million dollars and it just failed miserably. My TV ads failed miserably. That 95% chance I was talking about, it happened to me. I spent a quarter million dollars and I got back almost zero return. I got back a hundred dollars. That's how many sales we made from our TV ads. If I had just been going by, yes, then I would have stopped there. I would have never gotten to the point where I am today where I have a business that is just making money hand over fist. But what I did was I did yes and. And I thought to myself, how do I go above and beyond. My mentor gave me advice. He told me where to fish. 
I'm going to go fish there. And I did yes and. And I said, okay, this failed, but maybe it will work. What would I do next? And I went out, learned from my mistakes, and I put out another version of my television affiliate marketing ads. And lo and behold, the next version of my television ads performed 50 times better. One, two, three, four, five. 50 times better. And in fact, I almost broke even on the amount of money I spent putting up the ads. I spent one one hundred of the price that I originally did. I said, I'm just going to put up a TV ad. I'm going to spend $2,500 on the production. Whereas before I'd put down up a quarter million, a hundred times more I spent. And I got far better results because I did yes and. I continued through with my mentor's advice. And now we're on version four of my television ads where I do affiliate marketing and they're just outstanding. Once again, it's completely, it just runs. I do affiliate marketing on TV. This is something I haven't told many people about, but it works very well. And it's national and it's harder for people to copy. There's more of a moat. None of you are gonna get into TV advertising. But it was very uncomfortable in the beginning. Notice that I lost a lot of money up front, but I didn't lose it because I made it all back eventually. I did yes and, and think to yourself, where are you getting defensive in life? Maybe it's with your spouse, maybe it's with your significant other or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Maybe it's with your parents, if you look up to them. Maybe it's with your boss or your mentor. Think to yourself, yes and. I know many poor quality employees, they hear something from their boss and they think, oh, I'm just gonna do the minimum amount that's acceptable. Wrong! Never do the minimum amount acceptable. Always say, how can I go above and beyond? How can I do more? What else can I do? If your boss tells you to prepare a report on the, you know, the growth or the marketing campaigns, don't only prepare a report, go above and beyond. What would be the ultimate thing that your boss would want for himself? You know, if I say post 25 messages a day for a week, think to yourself, I'm going to post 100 messages a day for two weeks. That's the sort of thinking that creates success. The sort of thinking that doesn't create success is thinking to yourself, okay, I trust John and he's telling me to post 25 messages a day for a week, well, I'm just gonna try it out for one or two days. And I'm gonna post 25 messages a day. I'll post 20 for two days and I'll see what happens. That's not gonna get you to where you want to be in life. Go above and beyond. Be a winner. Winners go above and beyond. Now, I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope you've learned something. I hope I've encouraged you to expand your mindset and understand where this comes into play is when you start getting defensive. When you start thinking to yourself, there's that little part of your brain that thinks to itself, how is this guy wrong? If you're listening to somebody you trust, if you're listening to a mentor, you have to learn to quiet that part of your brain. How is this guy wrong? Why is this guy full of BS? And instead flip it to being, how is this guy right? How can I go above and beyond what even he said? Stop the spin. You can't trust all of your thoughts. Emotions are a part of our brain that flow like the wind. And they're not always conducive to business. Make sure you understand and start noticing when you're getting too defensive, especially around people who are teachers. And instead to think to yourself, instead of thinking, why is this guy, why is this wrong? Think to yourself, why is this right? And you'll flip everything. And when you find a mentor, if you already have a mentor, your relationship will shift completely and you'll move towards success much faster. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos that are not gonna be very popular with the YouTube algorithm, please give me a like and subscribe and also leave a comment. Let me know where you're from and how this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.